Okay, so we've talked about heat energy in particular, and now we've got to look at all the different forms of energy. This video should be fairly straightforward for you. This is just a reminder, really, of Key Stage 3 stuff, but it's very important that we get the basics right before we try to go to the harder stuff. Okay, so you need to learn the different kinds of energy. Um, so the first one we've got is heat. Sometimes they call that thermal energy. This is just like it says, the energy of anything which is warmer, or anything that's any temperature really, has got some heat energy in, but the warmer it is, the uh, more energy it's got, the more thermal energy it's got in it. Okay, we've got light energy, okay, fairly self-explanatory, likewise with sound energy. Okay, the first one that gets people a bit confused sometimes is chemical energy. So this is the energy given out in chemical reactions, um, which might be obvious sometimes in chemistry, but also um, food is a source of chemical energy because it gives its energy back by reactions inside your body. And also batteries, okay, which some people think store electricity, don't really store electricity. Okay, what they've got inside them is just chemicals which can release their energy. Um, then we've got kinetic energy, which is just movement, so any moving object's got energy. We've got electrical energy, we've already mentioned. The one that you probably didn't mention in Key Stage 3 that will come up this year is nuclear energy. So this is the energy within the center of atoms. Okay, and then we've got two sorts of potential or stored energy. Okay, one is elastic potential. So this is anything which is stretched or squashed that will go back to its original shape, like an elastic band, obviously, is the most um, simple example. And then we've got gravitational potential energy. That's the energy of anything that's lifted up. Okay, so if you pick a rock up and put it on a shelf, you, it takes you energy to do that. You might get the energy back as it falls back down again. Okay, which leads us to this idea, which is absolutely the most crucial thing to understand, the principle of conservation of energy. Okay, energy can be changed from one form to another, but it cannot be created or destroyed. Okay, so if you want energy, you have to get that energy from a different form that it's in, okay? Um, you can't make energy from nothing, and also the energy that you've got will go somewhere. So some examples of this, okay, here's our different sorts of energy written out, okay, with some arrows. These are devices which change the energy from one sort to another. So, for example, a catapult is a way of, um, when you pull it back, it's got elastic potential energy. When you release it, that turns into kinetic Obviously, you could go off either end of this chain. The chemical energy in your body is what gives you the energy to pull it back. When it hits something, that kinetic energy will probably turn into sound or maybe thermal energy. Okay, an electric motor is a way of turning electrical energy into kinetic energy. Okay, an electric fire is turning electrical energy into thermal or heat energy. Okay, a torch might be a little bit of a catch because you might think it's starting from electrical energy, but a torch runs off batteries, so the first thing it's got in it is chemical energy in the batteries turned into light. A loudspeaker turns electrical energy into sound, and a light bulb is the part of the torch, if you like, which turns the electrical energy into light. Okay, but hopefully in there you're thinking, oh, but it doesn't just do that. For example, a light bulb doesn't just turn electrical energy into light. Some of the energy is wasted as heat. Okay, and the next bit we need to worry about is what happens to the rest of the energy, okay, if it doesn't just do the one job that it's supposed to.